guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little Agnes charm. And she's so cute in her little jumper here with the red buttons. She has her little hair up there. And I think it's adorable. And I think it will go really well with Tutorials by Ace Unicorn Charm because of that little scene she has in Despicable Me, which I think is so adorable. So stay tuned and watch the video to learn how to make her. To make this charm, you will need skin tone, blue for the jumper, black for her hair, yellow for her shirt, two whites for her shoes, and four reds. I forgot to mention that you also needed two brown bands for eyes. You also need your loom to be in the staggered configuration and you also need a rainbow loom hook. I suggest using a metal tip hook. We can begin adding bands. I'd like to say that all the bands that we will add will be double banded unless I state otherwise. So we're going to start with red because this later on will be her hair tie. We're going to put two red bands up here and then we're going to go down with black bands. So from the left pin to the center and from the center to the right and then we're going to go down on the right and left side. Okay, and now with the skin tone, we're going to go down the middle twice and then go once with flesh on the sides of her face so we have this. Afterwards, we're going to connect her face by going from the left to the center pin here and from the center pin to the right. And this might look quite funny, but in the end, it's going to look all right. Okay? And now we're going to create her neck. So we're going to get two flash bands and go down. Now for her shirt, in Despicable Me she has a striped shirt like with this little with a beige and yellow but today I'm just going to use yellow bands. If you want to do the striped look, you're going to get one of the beige bands or maybe a tan band and a yellow band and put them together. You're going to go down here like so. So from the left to the center and then from the center to the right and then down in the middle. Now, for her jumper, we're going to give her a different look, and for that, we're going to need the hook. So I'll just move this aside, and for the jumper, you're going to need your red bands and some blue bands. You're going to take one red band, wrap it around your hook four times, and then get two blue bands, and move these this single band wrapped four times around your hook onto the blue bands so it looks like this and then you're gonna put it on your loom like so now we're gonna make one more for the other side of her jumper and we're gonna get a single red band wrap it around her hook four times to create four loops like so and then take two blue bands and transfer this single band wrapped around four times onto the double blue bands. You're just going to pull it over. You don't have to pull it all at once. You can pull it over one by one as long as in the end all the four bands, the four loops get onto two bands and then we're going to transfer it here. So it looks like this. So we're gonna go ahead and finish her jumper. We're gonna go down here in blue double bands. We're gonna go down this strip here like that. All blue bands and we're gonna do that one more time under it like so.
and then we're gonna go down once on the left side and the right side only and this is gonna create her little legs and now it looks now like we that. can go ahead and add Agnes's little shoes and for that we're gonna get a single white band go to the bottom of our loom here and we're gonna wrap this around three times to create three loops like that and we're gonna add another one here so I'm just gonna turn my loom around so it's easier for me I'm just gonna wrap it around three times oops so it looks like this and that's gonna make her little shoes now we're gonna move this aside and create her arms and to do that we're gonna need a single flesh band to create the hand and we're gonna wrap it around our hook three times and then take two yellow bands or like I said earlier if you're doing the beige color you're gonna get one beige or tan and one yellow and you're just gonna transfer these skin tone bands to that yellow band the two yellow bands and you um, put the other end back together so it looks like this and then we're gonna add this to our loom and we're gonna put it on this pin just gonna stretch that out and put it on like so now we're gonna make one more hand and again you're gonna get the skin tone wrap it ar around your hook three times get double yellow bands transfer the single band wrapped around three times onto this double yellow band you put both sides together on the hook so it looks like this and then add it to your loom over here so I'm just gonna stretch this out and put it on so it looks like this now we're gonna go ahead and make Agnes's little hair tie which is on the top of her head and for that we're gonna need black bands you're gonna need three black bands for this and you're gonna get one of the bands wrap it around your hook four times to create four loops and then push it to the bottom get one more wrap it around your hook four times and put these two together then get your single black band pull these eight loops onto that single band now this will take it will be very hard and take quite a while so just pause the video if I go a bit fast for you and just take your time pulling all of those bands over to the single band but once you're done unite both ends so it looks like this now we're gonna attach that part to our loom and we're just gonna attach it up here Oops! make sure not to let go of those and just stick it up there and make sure this bun part or that little hair tie part is right here on top in between these red bands. I'm going to add the eyes and for that we're going to need brown bands. So we're going to get one single brown band, wrap it around this peg four times. So to create four loops and do the same to this side. Wrap a single brown band around that pin four times to create four loops. So it looks like this. And then you're going to get a single skin tone band and stretch it across these three pins like so. Now with our hook, we're going to do a little hooking process here. And this is going to be quite hard to film, but I'll try to get the best of it. We're going to go outside that flesh band and pull the four brown bands that you wrapped around the hook to the center, trying to cinch this band here, the triangular band in the middle. So we have one, and you're going to pull the other one over. You don't have to pull it all at once, you can pull it little by little, as long as the eyes get to the center and look like this. Finally, we're going to put cap bands on her body and we're going to use the same blue we used for her jumper. We're going to make three, a triangle over those three pins, another triangle over these three pins, 
And for these three pins, we're going to do something different. We're going to go over the middle pin and just make this shape over here, like part only part of a triangle. And your loom should look like this now. And we can begin looping. Let's begin looping. We're going to start down here by the feet. We're going to pull back the white cap bands we created. Grab the two blue bands at the bottom and loop forward. We're going to do the same here. Loop forward. Now we can loop the rest of the way until here, like a triple single, pulling back the triangle bands we put across and grabbing only the two bands that pull to the front. For these bands here that we created, we're just going to do the same. Treat it like a regular double band and just loop forward. Once you've looped all of that, we're going to loop these bands to the center. So we're going to start from the left pin. We're going to pull back this armband, grab these yellow, two yellow bands at the bottom, and bring them to the center. The same with this side. Bring it to the center. Now we're going to loop the neck band, and this is quite difficult, so you're going to push back all these yellow bands, grab the two flesh stone bands at the bottom, and pull them forward. So it looks like so. For the face, we're going to grab the bands here on the right, pull them down to the bottom right, same with the left, grab these left, these bands on the left, pull them down to the bottom left, oops, it got stuck there, and then loop the skin tone bands forward. So we get a shape like this. Now we're just going to loop the rest of her face upward, like regular. So you're going to pull back these bands, grab the two bands at the bottom, and loop forward. Same with this side. Pull back the bands, grab the two bands, and loop forward. Now we're just going to loop the rest of her face. Oops. Make sure you pull back those eye bands. You do, want, you do not want to pull those bands forward. Now when you're done looping all of this, you're going to go in and pull the left bands here to the center and then pull these right bands to the center. Now we're going to loop this little red hair tie we have left and you're just going to ignore this little bun thing we made. You're going to go in all these bands Grab the two red rubber bands in the bottom and loop forward. So it looks like this. This little bun we made is sandwiched in the middle. And then we're gonna make a slip knot. So you're gonna go here to through the side. You're not gonna you, you do not want to go inside the pin, just stay outside the pin. Get the two bands at the bottom, bring them forward and release, and then grab these two bands left on the pin and then pull them tight to create a slip knot. Now, if your loom looks like this, you can now remove her from your loom. Now, once you're done, you can pull out this little bun we made. Just pull it out so it stretches out more. Make sure the slip knot's tight. And just pull her so you like the way she looks. Mine looks kind of funny right now. But you can fix her to look really cute. And then to finish up her hair tie, we're just gonna get this slip knot up here and wrap it around that little bun we made. And just wrap it around like so. So it looks like this. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on how to make this adorable little Agnes charm. If you want to see more, go subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Ferocious Bee Looms, to see all of my other creations. To see how to make this little boo charm, go check my channel out. I have a, a tutorial up on her in my channel, so go check it out. Thanks for watching, guys! 
Bye.